Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of G2 Line Did You Know? And today, did you know that you could actually wear helmets in your vehicles? Now, for most, like myself, I thought, because I swear, every time I've tried to wear a helmet or a hat inside of one of my cars, the game takes it off. So I always thought it was impossible. I always thought, no matter what you did, the game, for whatever reason, just didn't want you to wear a helmet or a hat in your car and you can see that I try a couple of different things and every time I get into the car for whatever reason it pops off now it pops back on once I get out but in the car you don't get to see whatever you're wearing it's very odd not entirely sure why Rockstar have made it this way I mean I understand for maybe some of the bigger hats because of clipping and stuff but like a regular hat a beanie stuff like that it it comes off in your car but there is actually a couple of helmets that you can wear in your car and some of them actually give you some benefits, which is kind of cool. And I mean, just wearing a helmet in your car, if you're going for a certain look, it looks awesome. Like when you're wearing that helmet inside of your car in a race or something, that just looks cool. But anyway, the two helmets we'll talk about first that actually work are the matte black helmet and the matte black mirrored helmet. But you do have to do something kind of strange to get them to work. So normally with the visor up wearing these helmets and I get in the car, they pop off like every other thing. However, if you put the visor down, which I think looks cooler by the way, then you get into the car, magically it doesn't disappear. And like I said, these are the only two helmets this works with because you can put the visor down on any of the other helmets and those will still disappear. But with these, for whatever reason, they do not disappear. And I think they look awesome. You can make some really dope outfits with these helmets and then combining that with like the look of your car and then just the overall look, you could make some really cool, you could take some really cool pictures with this and you just feel like a badass wearing your helmet in your car. But that is the first thing, that is the first way of wearing helmets in your car. Unfortunately, it only works with those two, but at least they look good and it's not some crappy helmet. The other way is with bulletproof helmets. So again, not entirely sure why these are allowed in the vehicle, but not anything else. But these are what actually give you that extra benefit because since they're bulletproof helmets, they work like bulletproof helmets. And people, if they're trying to shoot you in your head, which is probably what they're gonna end up hitting if they're shooting at you in your car, it's gonna probably save your life because it'll give you an extra, you know, one or two seconds before they actually kill you to get away. So if you have outfits that have bulletproof helmets, definitely wear those when you do get into your car or any vehicle, because while I don't personally think they look that great, they do give you that extra benefit. If you're just going for looks and you want something to wear inside of your vehicle, then you can go with the regular motorcycle helmets. Now this also works for aircraft. You could be in a plane or something and these things will still stay on unlike everything else. Like I'll try it with the thermal vision and this would be the greatest thing to wear inside of a, a car or a plane because you get the thermal vision. You can see where people are at, but it doesn't let you do that. And once I get out, it pops back on. However, with the bulletproof helmet or the motorcycle helmet, when you get into the plane, it'll let you keep it on, so it'll look cool. But then, for whatever reason, when you get out of the plane, it actually removes it. So you're going to have to go through your interaction menu and put it back on. That's the only downside to this. But, again, for looks, and I guess even if you're going for the added benefit of giving you some extra protection, the motorcycle helmet and the bulletproof helmet are allowed for whatever reason, to be worn in your vehicles. So this was just gonna be a really quick episode of GTL Line, did you know? I thought this was kind of cool. Yeah, it's a little minor thing, but at this point, you know, little minor things are kind of cool to know about. And I do just wanna say, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out in two weeks, and I'm not gonna like completely stop doing GTL Line, did you knows? But I am gonna do probably a few more Red Dead Redemption 2 did you know it was just because that'll be the the game everyone is playing including myself so anyway that is this week's episode thank you all for watching hopefully you didn't know about that hopefully you could use this to your advantage take some cool pictures or just look cool while you're driving around 
thank you all for watching. Please drop the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for these every single Saturday. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.